lovelies welcome back to my channel welcome to a nice vlog so i've just been getting ready for the day and i thought i could quickly do my hair with you because i don't like spending a lot of time on my hair as you guys know so i thought i could do it um, and then we can just have a little bit of a catch up basically so i went into town this morning and Honestly, I got so many incredible summer bits, so I thought I could go downstairs and show you. I also had some other deliveries um, for my holiday, which is downstairs, which I'm even more excited about. And yeah, I literally, I don't think I've ever been so excited for a holiday before, because this is our first one in two years. Like, usually we like to go on at least one a year, which is crazy, but it's something that we've always put money aside for, because... We love making memories, we love exploring new places and it's just been so weird with the whole pandemic and stuff and not going and last year we were just a bit like, no. We were a bit too afraid to go, I don't know why. So it's really exciting that it's literally three and a half weeks, which is just crazy. So I'm gonna curl my hair today and to use it of course, of course, because I mean, what else do I use? I'm gonna use the Foxy Locks, this is on, so <laughs> probably shouldn't touch the end. This is their gold-plated titanium curling wand. This is the only curling wand that holds my hair in place for more than a day. Look, honestly, I whenever I curl my hair with this, my curls last at least three days, I'd say. Um, this is it all natural and like wavy. I blow dried it this morning, so it's all like perfect to curl with. Sorry about that. My mum called and we were on the phone for ages and I started curling my hair. Um, but it's the most simple thing to do. Like, honestly, it doesn't take you long at all. This is the most incredible curling wand on the market. Like, honestly, I couldn't fault it in any way. It's insane. And your curls last all day long and, like, for days after. So after I've done this, I'll probably not curl it until my next wash hair days. The only things I do 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 um, is I recurl the front, like, bangs just to give them a bit more volume. But I mean, sometimes I leave it, but sometimes I do. And it's just so nice that like, it actually lasts and it holds and it's incredible. If you're interested in Foxy Locks, they've got amazing hair extensions, accessories. I'm gonna show you their oil in a minute. Oh my God. Their gold luxury hair oil is like a complete must in my hair care routine. It's just incredible. Yeah, they've got amazing tools, hair brushes, shampoos and conditioners, which I use. You can use my code Amy Rose and you'll get 10% of everything from Foxy Locks. Um, also, after I curl it, I just hold it in place for a little bit. It does come with a glove if this is like too hot for you. I feel like I've got really weird hands or like skin. I think I've got thicker skin. So things like this aren't as hot and I can like hold it, but some people really can't. I think because I'm a quarter in Indian, I have thicker skin. I don't know, that's what my granddad always used to say to me. But yeah, use a glove if this is too hot for you. And then I just let it cool down. But um, yeah, my code Amy Rose will get you 10% of everything. It is such, look at that, it's just like perfect curls. And even if my hair was shorter, like the curls are still per perfect, perfect. And then I'm gonna use their comb, which also looks so nice on your dressing table. Um, and then the top bits, I just I just curl away from my face um, and then I kind of tap it to see when it's ready. But yeah, I love all these products from Foxy Locks. They're amazing. I've worked with them for so many years now. I was actually looking back at my Instagram the other day and I've worked with them since I first started being like an influencer and like in this career. And it's just amazing like working with a brand that I love and I've used for so long and it's just grown and it's just amazing so i honestly couldn't recommend it enough um yeah and then i when i do the front bangs i kind of hold it up to cool just to give it a little bit more volume um but yeah thank you so much to foxy looks for partly sponsoring this part of the video obviously i'm going to brush the curls out in a minute and use their incredible oil i love you guys so much and like look how incredible this is it's just insane but yeah i honestly don't know what i would do without they're insane products. I can't wait to film a pack with me and pack them all. Oh, I'm just so excited. And then after you've curled your hair, you wanna let it cool for a little bit. Um, and then I'm gonna use the hair oil. And I literally put the teeniest bit in my hand like that. Rub my hands together and then go over the curls. And I do this before I brush it out, oh, honestly. It smells insane, like it just, 
it smells incredible and then I'm going to use the comb and then brush the curls. I'm going to quickly pop a dress on and then I'll come back. So I'm going to put on my By Terry um, Balm de Rose which is uh, my favourite thing ever to put on my lip. And then give my hair one little brush and I'm all ready for the day. Um, this is a dress by the way and I made it into a play suit a couple of years ago. I just basically tied the bottoms together because I loved it so much but it just, in the wind it just was like woohoo. Um, and it's from PLT, I don't know if they still do it, I'm not sure but I love it. Like the satin material and the colour, I just love. And then for perfume today, I'm going to use my Chloe. I don't know what this is called but I love the smell of it and it's very like summery and like happy. So I'm feeling all ready for a lovely day together. So if you guys are interested in Foxy Locks and want perfect curls each time you curl your hair and want them to actually last, so you put less heat on your hair, then you guys need this. This is a complete game changer. I'm obsessed with it. I love Foxy Locks so much. I feel like I'm the number one fan and I just love how it makes my hair feel as well. It's just amazing and I always feel like it's shinier after I use their curling wand too. And of course, the God Luxury Hair Oil is just a must in your hair care routine. And it's such a nice gift to get someone as well. So I would have popped all the links to everything from Foxy Lux in the description box down below. Thank you so much to them for partly sponsoring today's video. I love them so much. And how my hair looks and feels as well. Very happy about it. But anyway, I think we should go downstairs and we can have a little unboxing session and unbox some more holiday stuff and I'm so excited about it. How much water do you guys drink a day? Um, I'm just gonna go and grab my bottle because I'm really thirsty, but I'd love to know how much you drink a day. Like, I'm just intrigued. Um, the doggies are here, hello doggies. So I went into town this morning, like I said, and picked up some bits from Primark, Zara and H&M and also look at me I've got my play suit on with slippers how gorgeous are these flowers by the way I picked these ones up from Tesco's and I think they're so pretty they're from the Hinch range and they were only £15 um, and it's a cute little gift bag as well like it's got some ribbon to hold it in how cute is that so very pleased with that and there's so many in here it's like completely full so I need to grab my vase from upstairs and pop them in that because they are so cute. If you watch my previous Primark haul, I'm going to put these in that vase that I got in that video. Thought I'd mention them because they are so cute. But something oh, we did, me and my sister picked up from town. Was an Itsu. <laughs> so yeah, I'm very excited about my Itsu. Let me show you what I've got. I mean, it's probably... Not very interesting, but in case you wanted to see. I picked up edamame beans, of course, because these are insane. Chicken teriyaki. I'm going to scrape the coriander off because that's not my vibe. <laughs> you guys know I hate coriander. But how nice does this look? I always get this from Itsu. It's so good. So these are what I have. And I'm going to munch them in this for my lunch. stuff that I ordered online um there's I've ordered loads of like Amazon travel essentials and I'm basically gonna film like a huge Amazon travel essentials haul um, and show you guys everything that I got and stuff that I think is perfect for traveling with so that will be coming soon I picked up this little clutch um so this is actually really affordable I think it cost me between 10 and 15 pounds i think something like that um, and it's a black clutch and you get your name or initials on it and i thought this is the perfect size honestly natural lighting is such a pain and i'm sorry if i've got any like rice or anything in my teeth that lunch was amazing 
Um, but I thought, yeah, it's perfect to put any documents, our passports and just stuff like that inside. And it's really thin, so it's not bulky. It's perfect to sort of slot in my bag and yeah, I really like it. So you can pick this up with your rose gold initials on. I wish it was gold to match the zip, but it's fine. So yeah, that is from Amazon. This next one, so I bought this on Etsy. It's from a little brand called The Little Personalized Company. And how nice is this? You can get your initials on a bag. Um, I just thought this is just a really lovely bag and I love the color. Um, but also this is perfect for holiday, like around the pool and stuff like that. I can't wait to just wear this and it's a really versatile bag that you can wear this to work it's a really good one to have on holiday it's just a nice bag in general um, and i really liked it and i thought this is really nice because it's big i can fit all of our stuff in it when we're around the pool and stuff like that and definitely our towels but the best thing it's also got a zip so when you're around the pool and stuff you don't have to worry about things like coming out of your bag and stuff like that so I really like it. I thought I'd give them a mention. And the quality feels amazing. Um, so yeah, like I said, it's from Etsy. I'm gonna pop a link to it down below for you guys because I think it's amazing and it's really important to support small businesses. I also messaged her and I was like, I have a YouTube channel. Would you mind if I shared it? Because when I'm gonna be posting that on Instagram, I know I'm gonna be getting so many messages on it. And she was like, yeah, of course, that'd really help me out. So yeah, I'm really happy about it. Like even more in person, like I love it. And there were some other colors as well. So from H&M, I actually got really nice fits. Right, I'm gonna go into my beauty room and show you guys all the stuff that I got for my holiday because I wanna put it in piles and stuff upstairs. So yeah, a little bit better in here with the lighting and I can kind of put everything into piles. I wanna pack maybe like a week before or something. I wanna obviously get everything beforehand um, and then put stuff into piles just so I'm, I'm organized and I know stuff that I do need and don't need. One thing that I wanted to show you, if you watched my previous vlog, which went live yesterday, um, because it was meant to go live on Saturday, but it just got a little bit delayed, which is obviously absolutely fine. I finally got my key sunglasses. Um, you would have seen that I had a little bit of stress with ASOS and also the delivery, but it was all fine in the end. I just bought these and me and Brady are actually gonna go to a post office today and take the other ones back, like try and send it back. But these are the sunglasses that I wanted to show you in that video. And in case you guys were wondering, um, these are what they look like. I love them, like literally love them. I haven't got a gold pair of sunglasses, weirdly. I'm sure I used to, but I literally can't find them anywhere. So I wanted a nice gold pair to match my outfits and my jewelry and stuff for holiday. And in general, not just for holiday, but holiday was the main reason I got them, you know? So I wanted to share them with you. So what should we do first? Let's do H&M first, because I picked that up downstairs. I spent 60 pounds and 16 pence in H&M. Haven't tried any of this on yet, so I'm not sure what it's gonna look like on. But the first thing I got was this dress. Um, I really like it. I thought it's just such a gorgeous summer dress. I do wanna try it on. Hopefully I can do it after I like show you guys everything that I got and just try on all the clothes, just so I know if I need to take anything back. Um, but I thought this is really lovely. I got this in a medium and it was 17 99 and it kind of like does up at the back here too. And I thought this is such a nice sort of throw on dress. I could either wear this as a cover up around the pool because it's quite like sheer, or I could wear like a slip dress underneath and then have it like more dressy. So I'm not sure yet. I do feel like it's too nice to wear around the pool. So I'll probably go with option B. <laughs> My sister actually found this. So this was on sale for 12 pounds and it's a gorgeous like crop top and look at the print i feel like it's just so gorgeous it is so cute this obviously does up at the back which is really good when you have like square neckline stuff because it just helps to keep it up and, and off from falling down your shoulders um but i just thought it's so cute i love the print and i can wear this with like jeans and um, short skirts and stuff like that so i thought that is perfect um i picked up some cycling shorts these were 9.99 I got these in a size medium. These are the sport ones, um, but I thought these are really good to wear underneath dresses. I'm not gonna wear them for sports. These are gonna go underneath like my summer dresses and stuff like that. One, to stop me chafing in the summer because honestly, it gets so bad. And two, I feel like 
sometimes it's nice to sort of cinch you in a little bit you feel a little bit put together and if your dress blows up you're fine you know you've got your shorts underneath so well, these are perfect every time i say perfect it's just that tiktok where he goes perfect 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 <laughs> every time um, and then i got these two cover-ups so they didn't have a size medium so i got the size large they were 9.99 each but me and my sister were both saying it actually doesn't really matter the size because look, it does up this is i pulled it in the shop just to like see if it worked and it does like the drawstring work so it doesn't really matter on the size because you can cinch it in at the waist so i got it in green and then also black um and it's just a really lovely cover up perfect for holiday um it's so comfortable like the material of it is incredible and yeah like i said all the drawstring cinches your waist my doorbell's just gone hold on you'd think me going to the gym more i'd be fitter for parcels but i swear i'm like it's like harder than some workouts that i do so yeah i thought these are perfect and they're 9.99 each which is amazing um and i really like the colors of them like this sage is beautiful so that was h&m zara i had to get a couple of things um i picked up these two pairs of sliders i couldn't choose between the two and then i saw other colors of these and i was like oh my god so if they fit really nicely i might have to get more so i picked up two pairs of sliders so these are the first ones what do we think they were 22.99 i just thought these are going to go with so much black dresses white dresses nude stuff not even dresses but like clothes i just thought these are so lovely and they're really different um all sliders i get in a size 7 which is a 40 um so i picked up those and then the next ones which i am actually really happy i got the sage i got these and these were 29.99 how gorgeous are they just nice sliders perfect to just chuck on and i love the color and i think i have so many like white summer dresses it'll be a really lovely contrast with the sage um so i really like them and i love like this part how nice is that so very happy with those two from zara and then Primark is where i got most of the little bits and bobs so let me try and whiz through this as fast as i can i know i recently uploaded a primark haul so i don't want this to be completely focused on that um i picked up these shorts they were eight pounds i got them in a size 12 i couldn't see any other sizes but i think these are absolutely fine because they've got a drawstring and it does work so doesn't really matter it's got pockets i thought these are perfect for holiday i picked up this dress which was 11 pounds i got that in a size 12 it's just a bit floaty and a lovely one you can either dress up or dress down um i love the square neckline and it's just a really nice length as well so it re i feel like that's just a nice sort of staple to have you know um what else did i pick up i picked up a body controlling seam free controlling body yeah <laughs> basically like shape wear kind of thing to kind of like cinch you in if i'm wearing any dresses on holiday which is a size eight i picked up these wedges which i'm so happy about um they were 10 pounds my last wedges that i got from primark lasted me like five years i'm gonna say maybe four or five years and i wore them to death they were the comfiest like heel slash wedge i owned but the other day they started ripping here and i was so sad so i was so happy to see that they brought wedges in again and i just went for a plain nude i think i've got a black pair coming with my new sheen haul so i didn't get the black ones um i picked up a swimsuit this was 12 pounds i'm hoping it will be lovely and not see-through i got these which i thought were perfect for any like refillable things that we want on holiday but we don't need like a full size version of and it's got labels so they're travel bottles and yeah they have like different labels which i thought was really clever so i think i'm probably going to do my moisturizer i don't know yet to be honest i could even make my own labels with my cricket which i might do i feel like that'd be really fun um i picked up i think i picked up a few of these some of these little bralette top things i wear them as bras but then the other day there was like some i'm gonna say like young teen girls were like look at these tops and i was like 
<laughs> I wear them as bras, but you know. <laughs> but they they come in loads of different colours. They are very like long, but they're just comfortable to wear, honestly. They're just so comfortable. So they're three pounds each and I love this colour. Tuck some pajamas. So these are the shorts, which were six pounds, and then I also got long bottoms. They are so soft, like honestly. I cannot wait to get in them. And then the top was £10. And it looks like that. It's just like a plain jersey top. But it is so comfortable. And I'm so excited to wear it. And um, they only had the top in a size L. But I was getting it either way. These two pens I thought were so nice. And they were £1.50. How nice are they? Like, they couldn't be more me. Like nude and beige. I love them. And I love stationery. Um, these next pairs of shoes these were 14 pounds how lovely are they um i got these in a size six and they're like little heeled anything that's slightly heeled and like trainers and stuff i get in a size six but sliders i always get in a size seven i don't, i feel like they fit they fit my feet better but these i thought are perfect on holiday i love how you can wrap them up and they're just really dressy but comfortable as well i'm so happy with them and then i picked up some more of these scrunchies because i've been wearing these every time i've been going to the gym and they've just been amazing for my hair like they hold your hair up but it's not damaging and they were four pounds um, and then i also got a back combing brush but that's not to back comb it's basically on holiday and obviously if I want to wear my hair in like a sleek ponytail or a bun this just helps get any like flyaways out so that was everything I picked up from town this morning and um, I want to try some bits on because I feel like I want to see what some of them look like on so I'm going to try them on now and then I'll show you guys some of the clothes so this is one of the dresses from Primark I love it um, and these are the wedges, they are so comfortable. Um, but honestly, this dress I'm obsessed with, I'm not wearing a bra. So I think when I wear it properly, I will wear a bra, but I love how it kind of like cinches you in at the waist. It is so comfortable. Um, I love the square neckline. Um, everything about it I really like. It's just so comfortable. I feel like if I wanna be a bit more comfortable, but also look really nice, um, this is like the most perfect option. So really happy with this. Honestly, I'm so happy I picked this up and it's so comfy. So this next um, outfit. So this top is the H&M one that I got that was on sale for £12. My sister actually found this and I'm obsessed. It is a crop, but you can kind of like tuck it in a little bit. Um, and I've paired it with this, I think it's Storette's skirt i think it's from there um and i really like it i think it's a really cute top like the puff sleeve detailing um and the little frills here i really like it i feel like it's really cute and i've got the wedges on again from primark um, and this bag how cute is this it's from asos and i think it's the cutest thing ever so really like this outfit so <laughs> this dress definitely needs a steam and you can one million percent see my underwear but how cute is this? This is the H&M one. Um, I really like it. I need to wear a different bra with it and adjust it a little bit differently just so it kind of fits around the cup bit of my boob. But I think this is so cute. I definitely think I'll wear this as a more of a dressy dress instead of a cover up just because I love the print of it. I do need to wear nude or white knickers underneath. So that is a must. But I think it's so cute. I love the print of it. It's so comfortable. The back of it looks like that. It's just a really like comfortable and like floaty dress. Um, and I really like it. What do you guys think of it? Let me know down below. Um, I just need to, <laughs> should have changed my underwear, but that's fine. I think it's cute. So I'm just gonna try on the green cover up for you guys. Um, but I really like it. I think it's quite nice to go a size up because it ruches it a bit i've got the cycling shorts on underneath i love them they're so comfortable obviously i would wear a swimsuit underneath but i just think it's really nice really comfortable you can undo the drawstring if you want it a bit looser or do it up to kind of like cinch you in at the waist really like it and i love the color of this as well let me know what you guys think Settle down Day nights and late nights 
it's now the next day um i have got gym hair at the moment but i'm gonna show you guys what it looks like when i brush it like the curls are so nice on day two does anyone else prefer day two curls or day one or day three let me know down below but this is how i like to keep it when i go to the gym because it doesn't make the curls go like all distorted and i'll always wear a scrunchie um or i do like a low pony just depending on the workout that i've got to do that day but me and Bradley this morning, we had such a nice morning. We went to the gym, we went to Starbucks because he had to go to a, an appointment straight after. So we quickly got a Starbucks and then I went to Tesco's because I want to make like a protein smoothie bowl with you guys today, um, which I think will be really lovely. So I've just picked up all the bits for that. So I'll show you guys a little haul of all the stuff that I got. Um, my hair looks so funny. Like, look at these little bits. I also need to go and shower. Um, I watered my plants this morning outside. How cute are they? I literally love them so much. And I also picked up some more flowers that I want to put in a bar. So I'll show you. So this is a very mini Tesco tool. Um, I also picked up some frozen berries, but I put them straight in the freezer because um, I didn't want them to go all like mushy. Um, so I picked up these flowers. How cute are these? I don't know what these are called, but they are so cute. So I picked up these two because I thought I could put them in my new vase that I got from Primark. This was six pounds, how cute is this? And it also matches that one. This one's from Tesco's. This one had fake flowers in, but I pulled them out and just used the vase bit. Um, so I thought this one would look lovely like here. How cute would that look? So I've got some flowers to fill that up with. And I also wanna use a couple of these to decorate my smoothie bowl with. They're not edible. I should have bought edible flowers to be honest, but I just wanted to get some cute ones. These are for Bradley, um, and then loads of fruit, mango. The reason I get it in a packet than actual mangoes is because I swear I have the worst luck when it comes to mangoes. Every time I buy a whole one, it's awful. Like it's the worst mango ever. So if anyone has any tips on how to pick a good mango, please let me know because I literally can't. So the only way that I can eat mango, because mango is my favorite fruit, the only way I can have it and enjoy it properly is this. I feel like it's like lucky dip when you buy an actual mango. Some berries, some raspberries and blueberries, pomegranate, strawberries. Um, this is protein yogurt, which is so nice. It's got 20 grams of protein in. Um, it tastes so good. And I'm gonna pop this in the smoothie bowl just to add protein in it as well and make it a little bit more creamy. Bananas and then lemons. So that is my mini haul. So what I'm gonna do is go upstairs and shower and then we can come back down and then make the smoothie bowl. So this is 27 It doesn't matter what I've been through I should go out too But I still act like I'm 11 I'm not emotionally sound since I left you And no, I don't like to be the bad guy 
first of all, how nice do these flowers look in this vase? These two fell off, but I'm actually really happy because I think I'm going to pop them as decoration on the smoothie bowl. So I put them there. Um, this is my blender. It's just from Breville. I think that's how you say it. I got it on Amazon. I'll pop a link for it down below. Um, and it's just a really easy blender. I did have the Nutribullet and I think the Nutribullet is more powerful and you can kind of leave it. But I don't have smoothies every day. So I just think this is easy and it's a lot more affordable, like a lot more. I'm just watching cruise videos here. Um, I can't get over how lovely these are. And I've never been a purple kind of person, but I'm really into purple at the moment. I really like it. Um, and then I've just laid out all of the ingredients here. This isn't part of the ingredients, but I just got that from the fridge because I had some of these bits in there. So most of these are decorations. Um, in the actual smoothie, this is the smoothie mix that I got. So I'm gonna pop some of this in. Um, I'm gonna put a whole one of these in because it's 20 grams of protein and it's got blueberry in and it tastes so good. Um, also some mango, I've got some ice here and then maybe some lemon, we'll see how we get on. And then these are all to like decorate it with. This is actually a really fun thing to do if you've got friends coming around or kids or anything like that. It's like a healthy thing to do but also like a fun task. So let's get started. I don't really know how much I'm gonna do yet, I'm just gonna play it by ear but I really want it to be thick so Fingers crossed, it works. From Japan, would you stay awake? I'm losing touch of who I am when you're far away. And I feel like I'm running in circles around you. Mm. And I know I've been acting strange for a while. But I want you close god look how cute my smoothie bowl is although it's like completely melting um so i need to make it thicker and i think i needed to add more ice so maybe that's what i'll do next time but this oh i mean it looks a bit messy but it is so cute and it tastes insane if you guys mm, honestly this is so good if you guys have had a boost before you will know that my favorite boost of all time is the all berry bang boost it is so nice and honestly i feel like i've just made it it is so nice so i think this is my new favorite thing and i think i'm gonna make this a lot next time i'm just gonna make it thicker but oh honestly it's so nice and i think things like this are really good to make if you're on the go you can just make it as a smoothie and i'm literally in my element right now and they're like coconut bits mm, they add such a nice taste to it so I'm going to enjoy this now, but I highly recommend making it because it tastes so good. Hiding in the crowd I'll be whatever you want me to be You know I'm on your side And I feel like I'm running in circles around you mm. And I know I've been acting strange for a while <laughs> So, I've just made my lunch um, and for my lunch, I've got my usual chicken Caesar salad, which is so delish. I use half a mix from the Caesar salad mix from Tesco's, and then I just pop some chicken in, and it's that good. And it's two, it's 420 calories for the whole thing. I've just had my salad, and it was so nice. I feel like I show you guys it all the time. Have I got any of my teeth? Um, because I literally have it all the time for lunch at the moment. It's so weird. I'm such a creature of habit. When I like something, <laughs> I'll have it all the time until I'm sick of it and then I move on to the next thing. Is anyone else like that? I always do it, always, because I just, I don't know, I think I get into a routine and I crave it and and then I get bored and then it's on to something new. It's like when I listen to a new song that I love. Um, I forgot to take this this morning, so I'm gonna do it now, but I picked this up from Starbucks and I'm actually gonna keep these bottles because Bradley got one as well and he done his um, when we were in Starbucks, but I was gonna wait 
and then I forgot to do it with you guys. <laughs> so I'm doing it with you now. Um, and it is a ginger shot. And I'm really excited. I haven't done a ginger shot in ages. So I'm really looking forward to it. This has also got apple and lime in, which I think would be really nice. So let's let's take a shot. Okay, definitely the least flattering angle of me. But I just need to open this. I feel like I always have ginger shots in the summer. Like, <laughs> Luna just burped. Did you? <laughs> oh my god. Luna always does it like full on butt, trying to have the lid. Um, so let's have this together. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Oh my god. <laughs> my throat is burning. I don't know if it's because I haven't done a ginger shot in ages or is that just extra spices anyone else had the starbucks one? Oh my god when bradley shot it this morning he was like oh my god that is so spicy and i was thinking you're so dramatic because when i used to make them fresh he used to say the same and it wasn't like that bad that one it like clings to the back of your throat oh it's really weird but hopefully <laughs> i'll feel really energized and, and it's just good for you and your immune system and helps digestion and all that kind of stuff so i always enjoy taking them anyway my lovelies i am gonna end this video here i really hope you guys have enjoyed it it's such a windy day today like <laughs> our swing in the garden has just fallen over i sent bradley a video and i was like um garden swing has fallen over like it was so weird i was in the kitchen i heard something in the garden i didn't think it was anything major but i just went and looked and then <laughs> as i walked to the doors the garden swing was gone and i was like um <laughs> hello <laughs> where are you and it's on the floor but i'm just gonna leave it there because um i went outside had a look and it's not bent or anything um and it's meant to be windy for a while so just leaving it there i swear like where we live it's extra windy every time the winds are bad it's just like our garden turns upside down it's so annoying but anyway i really hope you guys have enjoyed this video thank you again to foxy locks for partly sponsoring it um as you guys can see i just brushed up my hair i did curl these bits again this morning just to add a little bit of volume because i went to the gym i got a bit sweaty and then it made it go a bit weird as you can see these are the bits that i'd done um, but it just blends all nicely and oh I just love it honestly boxy locks is just the best but I hope you guys have enjoyed it and enjoyed my summer bits and bobs I've got so many like exciting content and video coming your way um, especially over the next few months with like holiday prep and the holiday and stuff like that so I'm really looking forward to it I'm really excited and I hope you guys are as well um, but yeah thank you so much for watching and hopefully I will see you all in my next video bye